Hopefully everybody's good. Uh, happy Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. God bless y'all for real. So I love y'all for real. So we're gonna go ahead and move forward. Uh today is 7 15. July 15, 2024, I believe. Let's see. We're gonna do this one without the head. Okay. That's kind of so we're gonna go to um Ephesians 1 and 1 4. Go eat popcorn. As he chose us to be in union with him before the founding of the world, that we should be holy and unblemished before him in love. Amen. We'll go to. Ephesians 5, 25 through 27. Husbands, continue loving your wives, just as the Christ has also loved the congregation and gave himself up for it, in order that he might sanctify it, cleansing it with the bath of water by means of the word, so that he might present the congregation to himself in its splendor without a spot or a wrinkle or any of such things, but holy without blemish amen Romans 515 could be before that <clears throat> but the gift is not like the trespass for if by one man's trespass many died how much more did the undeserved kindness of God and his free gift by the undeserved kindness of the one man Jesus Christ abound to many <laughs> read that again but the gift is not like the trespass for if by one man's trespass many died because of Adam and so we died Adam and Eve how much more did the undeserved kindness of God and his free gift by the undeserved kindness of the one man Jesus Christ are bound to many amen we'll go to Hebrews 2 9. We're back again. Between Peter and whatever. I don't know. 2 9. <clears throat> First Peter. But we do the but we do see Jesus, who is made a little lower than angels, now crowned with now crowned with glory and honor for having suffered death. So that by God's undeserved kindness, he might taste death for everyone. But we do see Jesus, who was made a little lower than angels, now crowned with glory and honor for having suffered death. So that by God's undeserved kindness, he might taste death for everyone. Amen. Let's go to uh, Isaiah 53, 11. Isaiah 53 11. Hope everybody is having a good day today. Today's Monday. God bless y'all. I love y'all for real. So please. Man, yesterday I was yesterday was a little emotional. Like I was, I was emotional yesterday. And like <clears throat> it's just, you know, it's what happens when you have a heart. You know what I'm saying? You love people, you care about people, you sometimes things get emotional. So there's nothing wrong with being emotional. So as long as you, you know, get through it, you go run this process. And then you give it to God, and you know what I'm saying. And then you get back, you get back on it, you get back on it, get back on the, get back on the grind. So that was Isaiah 53:11. Excuse me. Isaiah 53:11, and that's gonna say, um, because of his anguish, he will see, and be satisfied by means of his knowledge. The righteous one, my servant, will bring a righteous standing to many people. And their errors he will bear. Because of his anguish, he will see and be satisfied by means of it, not by means of his knowledge. The righteous one, my servant, will bring a righteous standing to many people, and their errors he will bear. Let's go to Isaiah 42 1. Look, my servant, who I, whom I support. My chosen one, 
whom I have approved. I put my spirit in him. He will bring justice to the nations. Look, my servant whom I support, my chosen one whom I have approved. I put my spirit in him. He will bring justice to the nations. Amen. God is good. Jehovah God is good. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you, Jesus Christ. For real. Let's go to uh, Isaiah 49.7. That one says, This is what Jehovah the repurchaser, this is what Jehovah the repurchaser of Israel, his holy one, says to the one who is despised, to the one who is detested by the nation, to the servant of rulers. Kings will see and rise up, and princes will bow down because of Jehovah, who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. Kings will see and rise up, and princes will bow down because of Jehovah, who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. Amen. Let's go to uh, Luke 9, uh, 3 and 5 or 35. Let's go see. All right, that's right. When you write your notes, make sure you write them nice and pretty so you know what you're writing. Because you're going to write them real messy. Then when you go back to them, because I learned the hard way, I'll be like, yeah, yeah. And then you go back to them and we're like, what the heck is that? <laughs> All right, let's see. Here. Luke 9, either 35 or 3 and 5. Three through five. So thirty-five says. Then a voice came out of the cloud saying, "This is my son, the one who has been chosen. Listen to him." Amen. We're gonna break through that one, and we're gonna do Deuteronomy eighteen fifteen. Deuteronomy eighteen fifteen. Breakthrough. Another another breakthrough. <laughs> That was says, uh, Jehovah your God will rise up for you from among your brothers, a prophet like me. You must listen to him. And we're going to go to uh, Matthew 17 5. Matthew 17 5. That one says, While he was still speaking, Look, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And look, a voice out of the cloud said, This is my son, the beloved whom I approved. Listen to him. We're going to go to um, Mark 9, 7. And a cloud formed overshadowing them and a voice came out of the cloud this is my son the beloved listen to him and we're gonna go to um, Acts 3 22 and 23 the Acts 3 Indeed, anyone who does not listen to the prophet will be completely destroyed from among the people. In fact, Moses said, Jehovah your God will raise up for you from among your brothers a prophet like me. You must listen to whatever he tells you. Indeed, anyone who does not listen to that prophet will completely be, will be de completely destroyed from among the people. Let's go to um, Psalms 2 7. Let's 
Let me, pro let me proclaim the decree of Jehovah. <clears throat> he said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask of me and I will give nations as your inheritance and the ends of the earth as your possession. You will break them with the iron scepter and you will smash them like a piece of pottery. Let me proclaim it, the decree of Jehovah. He said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask of me and I will give nations as your inheritance. And the ends of the earth as your possession. You will break them with an iron scepter and you will smash them like a piece of pottery. Hallelujah. God is good. Amazing. God is good. We're in there right there. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Again, Jehovah God is amazing. Get you some of that. Get you some of that holy fire. Get you some of that holy, holy spirit. Holy ghost. Holy spirit. Holy. Get you some of that love. Get you some of that love. You know what I'm saying? Love. Get you some of that love. Sure. I love y'all. God bless y'all.